So this is Ghosts of Tabor in its open alpha phase. Bear in mind this is an alpha build of the game, so you're likely to see textures pop in and out or guns clip through the floor. Whoops, but we can look past that and have some fun. Hello, first building, we've got ourselves an Uzi. Click that, see if we've got any bullets in there. Yep, ready to go. Anything else in here? Hmm, empty. That's pretty cool. Ah, that's how you see if there's any bullets. Let's go. Uh, let's try this the long way up. Uh, uh, yeah. Ah, nice. Some gunpowder. Let's keep that. That'll be for making bullets later. And a clip with some bullets in it. Nice. Doesn't fit our gun, though. Wow. That is grim. Let's press on. So Ghost of Tabor is a bit like Escape from Tarkov, or maybe the DMZ mode from Call of Duty Warzone. This game's a great looter shooter, where every time you go in you have to bring your own weapons. If you die in the level, you lose all your gear. It's really tense and full of action. <gasps> Can you hear that? I think that's another real player. Whoa! Haha, <laughs> <laughs> gotcha! Yeah, there's one of those glitches, I can't grab that gun. But I can grab this gun. Nice. Whoa, take this as well. Shove our old Uzi in there. Alrighty, nice new gun. <gasps> Where did that go? Oh, it's not falling through. It's just disappeared. Well, I did say it was an open alpha. So as I was saying, in Ghosts of Tabor there are real players like you just saw. There's also AI control players. All to be avoided. Wonder if there's anything in here. Hello? I can see that crate's open. I think that other player must have been through here. Let's get out of here. Bye! Ah. Ah. Love the sea. Ahoy hoy! Right, let's go over there, see if there's anything in that. Oh, there's a person in the road. Not sure if it's real or not. Whoa! See if there's anything in this tent that I can battle him with. Nothing. Been looted. Anything up here? Hmm, a few pouches. Let's equip that onto there. That looks like a knife holder. Don't think that can go on my vest. I'll put it in my bag for later. Where was he? He was down here somewhere. There he is. Oh no. I can see him. Ah. Hey, got him. <laughs> ah, he's got one of my old pistols. Thing in that van. I think we can exfil from here. Let's do it. I can see there's a man over there on the beach. Looks like AI. Sneak past him. Anyone in here? Oh shit. See ya! Right, here's the x -field. Let's get out of here with our new guns. Oh, I'm being fired at. There's another one in there. No! Damn it, get the pistol! Get me out of here! Woo! Made it. So after you've extracted with your loot, you go back to your storage bunker. Then you can store all your pistols. Put the old rusty gun up there. My new Uzi. You can put all your items on the tables as well. All this stuff will persist onto the next time you go in. Put the gunpowder up there. You can chuck some brass in there with the powder and make new bullets. And there we go. Shove that in there. Shove that under there. And that's Ghost of Tabor. Hello! Is anyone in? Hey hey, welcome to Goosey Goggles VR, my name's Dan. Today we're checking out Blade and Sorcery Nomad, exclusive to the Quest 2. This game is a nearly identical port of its PC counterpart. 